April 25. And we are back in Hong Kong once again. Headed toward Bangkok this time. And then a little side trip to Cambodia and eventually back to Darwin to, Prince up, uh, to pick up Prince Diamond. And this time we're going to have a new crew member with us, Matt Ray. So anyway, for now, passing through Hong Kong after a almost 16 hour flight. And we've just got a few more hours to go and we'll be there. Bangkok now. It's about a quarter to 11 in the evening uh, here to be quarter to 11 in the morning back home. So we've been traveling for quite a while. Just about almost, uh, well, almost 24 hours. Just trying to arrange uh, some transportation to the hotel right now. Now this is breakfast. Breakfast our first morning here. It actually looks like it's going to be a bit of a rainy week here in Bangkok. Uh, today we're going to go over and uh, first of all take a look at Jim Thompson's house and after that we may uh, catch a museum. say that so far Bangkok has had a sort of a, a Blade Runner dystopic feel to it. Uh, a lot of uh, elevated areas, the sky train, elevated children's playgrounds, that sort of thing, and the buildings are very close together. Not particularly clean, a lot of grime, but not a lot of litter. And. Uh, Lots of people, motor scooters all going the same way, that sort of thing. It's been interesting so far. It'd be nice to see it at night.
Well, the first stop is going to be the Jim Thompson House. Uh, Jim Thompson was an American who, in 1945, moved here and revived the uh, silk weaving trade. And I guess he is well thought of for that. In 1967, he went for a hike in the mountains of Malaysia and was never seen again because he was a member of the OSS, the forerunner of the CIA. They thought some people say that he got bumped off, but it's also probable that he got uh, run over by a truck or something and secretly buried in the jungle. Ladies and gentlemen, Sadiqa. Welcome to Jim Thompson House. My name is Napa, and today I am your guide. The tour takes about 35 minutes. And let's begin right here where you can enjoy the good view of the home that was owned by the American Jim Thompson. In 1967, Jim Thompson disappeared without trace in Cameron Highlands of Malaysia. Until today, we do not know what happened to him. And today, as we visit his home, you will learn more about Jim Thompson, who was a successful businessman and the founder of Jim Thompson Thai Silk Company. Jim Thompson was born in America in 1906 after studying architecture at Princeton University. He worked as an architect in New York City until the start of the Second World War. And in 1940, he joined the U.S. Army and he became an officer of the OSS or CIA now. Just as the war was ending, he was sent to Thailand and he fell in love with Thai people and Thai culture and decided to make Bangkok his permanent home. At first, he rented a house, but a few years later, he decided to build his own high-style house here. And the construction of his new home was finished in 1959. And now this house contains important antiques that were once the main house, and the other house here was renovated to display more of his Thai painting collection. Ladies, traditional Thai houses are built on stilts to protect family from flooding. In the old days, Thai houses were built facing rivers or canals and had their own boat to land in. And the house Jim Thompson built here is very special because in traditional Thai houses, we have separate rooms built around an uncovered and open platform. But Jim Thompson found wooden buildings and connected them together to create a Western style house with this layout he could more easily move from this way. outside. Please know that he bought six houses and combined them together to create his house like he took it apart and rebuilt it. When Jim Thompson moved to Thailand, he began to collect Southeast Asian art. He had an excellent eye for beauty. He wanted to preserve local culture and always intended that his collection remain in Thailand. Uh, please note this one. This is the standing image of Buddha. This one comes from central Thailand and dates to 7th century, Thawarawadi period, when there was an important point king up here. And this is the oldest Buddha image in our collection and is made of the grey limestone. Buddha Right beside the house, where the houses here of Jim Thompson, there's a canal, which was very traditional for the silk uh, manufacturing. That last shot I did there, I was tut tutted at, told to stop because I'm filming inside his house, even though I was shooting outside the window. And earlier when I 
was standing out in the front uh, listening to her talk, I was filming at a distance from outside into the living room, which is out of bounds, and nothing was said at that point. So it seems that it's more to do with uh, where you're shooting than what you're shooting. And occasionally you can hear in the background there's a bit of a roar that goes by. It's like, uh, it's like a highway, but actually it's this uh, canal here that's right, right beside the house. And the uh, boats go through here uh, with their inboard engines and they're moving at quite a clip. All of the artwork that's here and the things that make up the house are all authentic and quite old. I would say the youngest things here are from the early 19th century. Many from the 18th, 17th. Another boat goes by. <laughs> there we go. Meeting Finns. Yes, everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Everywhere, <laughs> it's true. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the devices here that Carol is walking up to at the National Museum are devices to help you mount an elephant. STDs, I guess, were not a problem in those days. I'll stop joking now. Yeah.
Unfortunately, they did not have any uh, photography, uh, flash photography, or video cameras allowed in the uh, museum. So we didn't get an awful lot of video from there. But as we head back now, breeze is a little cooler and we're in the shade. It's been really humid and quite hot today. Uncomfortable. Next year is the number 11. Turn the railway station here. From here you can go to see the Sweet home. All right, it's Friday now, the 27th of April, and it's Temple Day here in uh, Bangkok. Deep and narrow stairs up the central prang represent the difficulties humans face when trying to attain a higher level of enlightenment. They lead up to a narrow terrace, it's actually this part here, mm. that offers a sweeping view, but the upper stairway is often closed. Yeah, it actually is closed today. It is.
And it's across the river from Wat Arondara Fall.
And after Wat Bowl, I guess we're gonna on our way over to what you would say the Grand Palace and Wat Fak Frak Crew. <laughs> okay, that's easy for you to say. I can, I can say the Grand Palace part. Yeah, that's easy to say, Grand Palace. point we've exited the, the temple area and we're entering into the uh, royal palace area but uh, you don't actually get to go inside any of the royal palace buildings there's just some external view yeah they actually have this marked as though you could walk around it uh. Well, that was.
was a busy day, and now we've uh, ended up at uh, Asiatic, which is a um, oh, a terminus, a southern terminus on the, on the riverboat line here. It's the night market. It's the night market. Okay. And uh, so anyway, uh, we've been deciding what to do, playing with the idea of going to one of the rooftop bars here. Uh, a couple of them up on the 60-something floor, uh, a couple of hotels and apparently very nice. Uh, but we've been reading the reviews <laughs> online <laughs> and uh, people ordering two glasses of wine, mistaking the uh, price listed as for per bottle rather than per glass, so end up paying probably Canadian and so like two hundred dollars for two glasses of wine that sort of thing so uh, even to make the reservation at one of them they wanted uh, your credit card number and they put down a deposit so I don't know what we're gonna do at this moment point um, gotta be up very early tomorrow because we're uh, headed off to ride some elephants out in the country somewhere so uh, for the present moment, we're just here uh, trying to decide what to do, but I don't think rooftop bars are in our immediate future. <laughs> and here's to, here's to Asiatic and a good day visiting temples. Yeah, the old temple trick. Temple yeah. trick. <laughs> it started raining a few minutes ago, just cascading down out there. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.